Okay. All right, guys. Probably a two and a half pounder. A three. Nice little bass. Caught him on a little tequila sunrise, four inch power bait worm, on a little, probably sixteen ounce jig head thing. That's a nice little bass. Nice four pound medium line. size. Yeah, four yeah, pound line. Four pound line. Fun. Right there. But anyway, he just caught it. We're gonna release him. So here he goes. Oh, All right, guys, we're going to release this nice bass. All right, he's probably good. There he goes. We'll get back to you. Hopefully, we can catch some more. Little bitty blue there. There he goes. We'll get back to you. What's on this line? Stink bait. All right. I just pocket? caught, um, yeah, without a nice one pound channel catfish there, I think. Yeah, that's a channel. That's a channel. Talking to us. Anyway, little guy, we're going to release him. I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Here he goes. <laughs> Get back to you. All right, guys. Just got this probably three pound bass. Looks like a. I can't tell. Probably it, it's pregnant. Female, yeah. Look how fat that is. Look at the belly on that thing. It's pregnant. All right, that's a three pounder at least. That's probably my second biggest of the year. Let's throw him back. Just I just caught him. I'm We're gonna do an underwater release with this iPhone, guys. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. But cut him in the same worm he was using. I have some of those, so yeah, he I tried one. I didn't cheat. I just caught a fish. Uh, All right, guys. Ready? Put him in. Make sure he's going to revive. Oh, there he goes. All right, hold on, guys. Let me show you setup. I caught him this little ultralight setup here. It's cool. It's a little trigger reel here. You just pull the trigger and it casts. But anyway, it's just a tequila sunrise worm. Power bait worm, four inch, with a little wacky rig jig head on there, four pound, four, four or six pound line, and uh, he was just peeling out the drag, even though drag decently tight. Anyway, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, little one pounder on the same worm. Not very fat, just normal weight, uh, probably 13 inches. Let me good look at him. It's raining a little bit now. Anyway. Same worm. There he goes. We'll get back to you. All right, guys. A little five-inch crappie. There he goes. His bobber's like swimming straight towards shore, so maybe he has something. We'll get back to you. All right, cool. guys. Maybe a two, two and a quarter catfish, two and a quarter pounds. Probably a uh, seventeen-inch. Looks about. Yeah. Let's see. So yeah, that's yeah. probably seventeen. His foot's like two, twelve and a half to thirteen. Uh, Pull a little more forward. It's fourteen. Fourteen inch. So. It's probably five more inch. Maybe 18, 18 yeah. inch fish. 17, 18. 17 and 19 inch fish. We're gonna put him back. You want a picture or not? Yeah, sure. Alright, we'll get back to you if we, when we release him. Alright, guys, here he goes. Just set him in, I guess. Yeah. Oh. oh. There he goes. Get back to you. Alright, guys, watch how fast these little panfish bite just a couple feet offshore. Already got one. Well, he's off, but. There he goes. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, had one. There's another. They're like right here. They're just watch this. The bigger ones are a little Boom. Out. Right there. Little baby bluegill. So quickly. There's some bigger ones out there. But anyway, these bite super quickly. Get back to you. Ooh. All right, guys. We just got a one pound catfish there. Another one on the, on the piece of worm again in the grasshopper. Maybe a pound. Channel cat. He's down here. Oh, <laughs> get back to you, Robin. Anyway, guys, little three-inch panfish. Okay, what I did? Look at this. Okay. Um, where's the worm? There it is. He grabbed the tail of the worm. He didn't even get hooked. He just grabbed the barely the edge of the tail. And so what I did? I pulled it up, and he held on until he was on shore, and then he fell off. There he goes. First time I ever did that. We'll get back to you. They keep getting hooked. All right, guys. Here is um. This little, he caught a really cool looking bluegill. I just had a bite from probably a bluegill or something. Anyway, get back to you. They have right, really guys. funny colors in here. Little crappie. Probably six inches, maybe. Mm, six get back to eight. Alright, guys, just caught this nice channel catfish, probably two pounds. It was crazy. My rod was bending. My friend yelled, Go get your pole, go get your pole. And then it flew into the water and it almost got. it almost got. This catfish, there's a bobber on that one, I think. Oh, catfish on that one, too. Oh, ugh. I am. But anyway, nice two-pound channel catfish. Doesn't look too big, but he's decent. He's probably 18-inch. 
this pull this reel into the water six inches off from shore and then I had to get it. Anyway, that's a nice catfish, one and a half pounder. Whew. So lucky I didn't lose my rod and reel. I dived in, I jumped in and almost got my feet wet to get my rod. Oh crap. <laughs> anyway, we'll get back to you. Alright guys, here's another fish. It almost pulled my pole in. I saw the bobber and the line was getting really tight and bent on the pole. And then I grabbed it. A little probably one one pounder. Spawned female it looks like. This little catfish there. Alright. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Oh, well. There it goes. Get back to you. Or thanks for watching. This is probably the last fish of the day. But if not, then we'll get back to you. Alright guys, he just caught this like 10 pounds, probably snapping turtle. Not huge, but he got on a hand line. Little, 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 with a, um, some stink bait or bluegill? No, a little uh, bit of half, half a bluegill. bluegill. Half a bluegill, but um, anyway. That's legal in Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um. That's just the line hanging that's out. That's the last thing of the day. Yeah, Thanks for watching, guys. Leave, so.